Hello. Are you, oh, it's working. Sorry about that. Hey, everyone. It's Sarah from Sensu Sarah Facebook. I am bringing you part two of my September haul. Super excited. Um, so let's just get right into it. I think I have I've got all my customer orders done, so I'm pretty sure that this is just my stuff left in these boxes. So I'm super excited. The first thing that I purchased this haul is the Sensi Laundry Love Bundle. I have used the washer whiffs out of my enrollment kit or my enhancement kit. I'm not sure which. Uh, washer whiffs smell fantastic. I think I've tried, actually come to think of it, we got washer whiffs in both consultant kits, uh, the Shooting Star Award kit, as well as just your original enrollment kit. I think I've tried White Teen Cactus as well as Luna. So this time I had to get Clothesline because it's my favorite. So the Laundry Love Bundle, <clears throat> I believe in Canada is like $66. So you get the tub, um, the dryer discs, and there's two in each. So four dryer discs in total, as well as 20 fluid ounces of our laundry liquid. So I haven't used all three pro products collectively. I will definitely do a follow-up video or a review on these products as soon as I give them a try. I'm super excited though because those lines one of my favorites. Actually, I'm so excited. I want to open the tub and smell the washer whiffs. Uh, white tea and cactus smells exactly like white tea and cactus bar. If you love the bar, I can guarantee you'll love uh, the laundry products because it smells exactly like it. Same with Luna. So, ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, clothesline smells exactly like the bar, too. And it's strong. I can't wait to get my clothes into this. Actually, I knew that this was coming in this in this haul, the part two. Um, and last night, I was like, we don't even have any laundry. I'm going to need some laundry to wash. And that's rare because we're a house of four women. So there's always non-stop laundry. So I picked up a couple of scent packs. Um, these both Rum Raisin Cookie as well as Autumn Blaze Maple, which is my favorite fall scent ever. These are both in the clearance section of my website if you want to jump on and grab yourself some of these. These are amazing. I find a lot of our scent packs, they do a really good job sealing them. Um, so you can't really smell them through the paper or the plastic, sorry. But when I first opened these, like I could smell them. They're really strong. So I'm definitely looking forward to both of these scents. I was actually quite sad and surprised that they didn't bring um, Rum Raisin Cookie back in our fall and winter catalog. Because I have always had a steady flow of customers asking me about that scent. So it must have been popular once upon a time. Um, the next thing in my haul part two was Pink Haze. My customer Cindy Jessup and I have decided we are going to switch Sensi Pods. She's going to try Luna and I'm going to try Pink Haze. To be perfectly honest, I've never even smelled this before. So, ooh, first sniff. Pink case, that's nice. Um, it's not something that I'd normally pick, but those are always the ones that surprise me and turn out to be the ones that I love and use the most. So I will definitely use this. Thanks for the recommendation, Cindy. I will definitely be trying these and maybe I'll even do scent scores on my first Scentipod one. That would be cool. Oh, and by the way, if you follow my scent score videos, um, please know that I'm still doing them. I just have to, it takes a while because I do it over each scent over a couple of days and then I'll film videos and then 
upload them as I go. And when it's taking a long time in between my publishing of the scent score videos, it's because I'm trying some really amazing scents that are lasting a couple days, three, four, five days. So don't worry, I'm still doing them. Um, it just takes some time. So the next thing that I bought is another cord concealing stand. Um, I have a thing for birchwood. They just look so nice with the warmers that I have. We um, have a wide selection of warmer stands now. And if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm not really a big fan of just the regular warmer stands. I just find them kind of silly and pointless. Like our warmers don't get hot enough to damage the surface of your table. And Sensi's very particular about putting those little fuzzy feet on everything. I've yet to see a warmer that would potentially damage the surface of your furniture. So I think they're a little silly. I do, however, like these cord concealing stands. Oh, wow. This one is very different than the ones I've had in the past. And... Um, it appears like they gave me an extra little foot that was stuck to it. This one's got these really dark markings in it, which is very rustic. My other ones don't have these dark markings. My other ones are more white, like white birch. Um, this is nice, though. I do love these. Again, I was skeptical on these. I thought, oh, man, they're gimmicky. But the cord concealing, you wrap your cord around here instead of having it like dangling, especially because I have this really nice wooden island in the center of my kitchen slash dining room, living room area. And it has a plug right next to it, which is great because it looks beautiful with a warmer. It's in the central area of the room, so I get a great throw off whichever warmer I put there. But to have the cord dangling down in the middle wall looks terrible. So that's why I originally purchased a cord concealing stand. And I just like the look of them. Our warmers are beautiful all on their own. But like who looks adorable sitting on top of this? Um, Rustic Pumpkin looks beautiful on the Birchwood warmer. So I had to get me another one of those. Actually, I'm not even going to wrap that up. That's silly. And I'm just going to use it right away. Also, for consultants, like if you're going out doing like vendors events or setting up displays, um, it just gives it like an extra pop or, you know, especially for displays or vendor events. It's just an extra wow, you know, and it's not even about getting the upsell. It's about, sure, you upsell it. And in Canada, I think they're worth $18. But it's it's the wow, it's the grab people's attention that I like about them the most. So I did go kind of crazy. And speaking of consultants, um, if you haven't already ordered our holiday catalogs, they're just like mini ones, you have to get these. I am going to open it up and we're going to go through it together. I'm super excited about this. I'm not usually a fan of Christmas, but now that I have a little one again in the house and Christmas is becoming magical again, I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to get right into this and probably buy everything in this catalog. So the first one is the Down the Chimney Warmer. On the second page, oh, I can't wait. Stargaze Diffuser. If you follow me on Facebook, you've seen this one. There's so many in here that I, like every time Sensi does it to me again, I get this huge haul every month and I'm like, yes, I have everything out of the catalog that I want. And then they release another catalog and this stuff is gorgeous. Um, Silver Frost is part of our lampshade collection. It is stunning. I know these catalog pictures don't do it well. And then we have another Mason Jar, Winter Frost. Also, I'm taking pre-orders for the Stargaze Diffuser. I will be placing an order at 2 a.m. Um, Ontario time on the night of the 1st if you want your Stargaze Diffuser. Message me now because I have a feeling that's going to sell out. 
So the next one, Tinsel, Build a Snowman. I know Tinsel, you won't be able to see it. And the details on Build a Snowman, you can't tell in this catalog, but definitely follow me on Facebook. I will have them posted there. We have a new make a scene decorative scene. It's called Snow Day. So if you have a make a scene warmer, there's new little critters to put in there. Gingerbread in a cup. Um, special delivery is back and I have something to show you in this haul to do with this one. It's not available till October 1st, but let me show you. This nightlight is so cute. I think we used to have a large version of this. This time we don't have the large version, just in the nightlight. I am in love with the warmer wraps. If you watched part one of this haul, I got the Give Thanks warmer wrap. I'm definitely ordering the Peace warmer wrap. Like just, just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. We are getting a new buddy. His name is Frost the Polar Bear. You could buy a jacket for him, Lenny the Lamb sweater, gingerbread buddy clip. So many cool things in here. Like literally, there is something for everyone in this catalog. Um, the limited edition hand soap and lotion is lavender and white balsam. And if you have been following my Facebook page for the Harvest Collection, we had Farm Stand Pumpkin. Uh, the hand soap has since sold out, and it's sold out fast, people. So if you're into this stuff, get it, order it ASAP. Um, we have Scentsy Christmas cards, which is so cool. It's a five-pack of Christmas cards, and they come with scent circles and just a cute little greeting and a card. Super cute. We have fabric ornaments this year, as well as our ceramic snowflake, and then a three-pack of holiday oils, which come in the fragrances of Christmas pine, cinnamon bark, and peppermint stick. I think that's the same harvest oils as last year. And Amazon Rain in a Laundry Love Bundle. Hello. Can't wait. So that will definitely be the next one on my list. I pretty much want everything out of this catalog. So if you're a consultant and you haven't ordered these, order them. Order them. They're available, and this launches October 1st, so you need to have these before October 1st. Or if you're on my mailing list, expect one of these. If you're not on my mailing list, message me your details, and I will send you one of those. Um, so, ugh. more fall and winter catalogs, but we don't need to go through those. That's just my regular consult material so special delivery that little red truck I showed you if you have watched my October warmer of the month we had pumpkin delivery this is the lid to special delivery so instead of buying both the little blue truck with the pumpkins hang on a second people I'm gonna try and turn this light on Let's see if it makes a difference. Oh, there you go. Offset the glare from that window coming in. So the little blue truck has is called pumpkin delivery and has the pumpkin lid. Now they have special delivery. And you might have that warmer from Christmases of the past. So just know that the lids are interchangeable. <clears throat> You can go ahead and buy the little blue truck and the little red truck if you so choose. But I'm happy with my little blue truck. I like the fact that I can take the pumpkins off and use the or or the warmer year round. But now I love the fact that all I had to do was order this lid. Look at how beautiful that is. So this is going to go after Halloween on my little blue truck for Christmas. And see those little stars? Light's gonna, oh, there is no light. Hmm, so I wonder how that's gonna work. It would be cooler if these little stars lit up, but yeah, duh, it's an element warmer. So these won't light up. It will let the fragrance out, I think. 
the holes are bigger than the pumpkins, so it might let the fragrance escape more so than the pumpkins. This this will be interesting. I'll let you know how this lid works out closer to the holidays, but this is amazing. And I haven't been a Sensi consultant long enough to know, but I think this is the first interchangeable warmer as far as lids that, that I know of. I could be wrong, but it's very cool. Buy one warmer and then just buy but whatever lid you're missing. Do you know what I mean? I am going to pack this up because it'll be a month before I need to break that out. So that is a special delivery interchangeable lid that I'm going to stick on pumpkin delivery. Um, what else did I get this haul? Ah, I got a make a scene warmer. I'm super excited about this. If you follow me on Facebook, you'll see that I'm posting about this one all the time. I have customers who say to me, I love your seasonal warmers, but that's a lot of money. It's too much money for me to spend right now on something that I can only use, you know, a couple months out of the year or even 30 days out of the year. And I understand that and I respect that. So I always tell people about this make a scene warmer. Even I have customers who change their home decor around a lot too and I'm like wow you change your warmers that often or you know and that's cool but why not just get one warmer that you could switch up for any home decor different seasons okay so slow down Sarah let's do this carefully so this is a Scentsy glass and of course it's got the authentic Scentsy stamp on the bottom and it's not for free use. Sensi prints that right on everything they have. As far as their dishes are concerned. Let's see this very carefully. This, my first impression of this is this is a lot smaller than I had envisioned. But in typical Sensi fashion, it's beautifully made. So it's got those little feet that we talk about. You can hardly see them. Um, I believe from the specs it's about the glass is about seven inches tall so it's not very big let's see ooh this is the first clear cord I've ever seen but I understand why because it is Instead of coming out of the bottom of the warmer, this comes out of the top. So it is an element warmer, which is amazing. Uh, I am very curious to see how many watts this is. Hang on two seconds. Sorry about that. I had fighting teenagers. Lovely. Yeah, I'm going to get in a contest of who can scream the loudest. I can guarantee you. So anyways, back to this. This is a 13 watt warmer. This is a 13 watt element warmer. I was excited about this. I can't tell you how excited I am about this now. Buy this. This is going to be amazing. So the lid goes on. Here we go again with Sarah not reading instructions. Let's just wing it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's a tight fit. I was almost scared I was going to break it there, but it does steal it. 13 watts, people. This is why the cord is clear. It's because if it was black or even white, it would be very noticeable. So they try and make it as transparent as possible. And then your dish goes on top of the 13 watt element warmer. Let me tell you, this is also one of the largest in diameter element wa warmers I've ever seen. Like, that's big. That's really big. And then you can put whatever colors, whatever you want in here. These make beautiful pet memorials. Um, Follow me on Facebook. I have posted multiple different ideas that I find on the internet of what people have done with these and what they've turned them into. Make a scene warmer, I am super happy with. I am so impressed. 13 watt element warmer. Buy this if you love top performers.
I'm so excited. I'm not in box that up. That's mine. So, oh, I'm sweating so bad. Still hot. Still so hot here. What do we get next? Ooh, okay. So this is from the new Fall and Winter catalog. Um, I think so far... I've gotten some warmers or warmer wraps out of the Harvest collection. I did get Little Garden. So I think this is like my second new warmer out of the Fall and Winter um, catalog. So this is called Champagne. And it's a pretty popular warmer so far. I've seen tons of different vlogs about it. Lots of other consultants are posting videos about the champagne warmer. Uh, I just couldn't resist. Oh, wow. It is beautiful. I have a feeling my 17 year old is going to snag this. And this is also an Edison bulb warmer. So that's 40 watt bulb. This is going to be a strong performer. I already know it. Wow, that is gorgeous. Very nice. Absolutely beautiful. So you're going to put the Edison bulb in the top of there. I love this. I should really have my extension cord out and show you. I'm plugging it in. But, um, too hot for that, to be perfectly honest. So, it comes with an Edison ball. You plug that bad boy in. Put the dish on. This is gorgeous. I know my 17-year-old's going to steal this. Right now, she, she claimed my Lucent warmer as her own, which I intended that warmer to go in our main floor laundry room. I have a feeling she is definitely going to steal this one. This one is gorgeous. So nice. So that is the champagne warmer. I have so many warmers out right now. Lots of glass going on here. I feel like things are going to get broken. I have to pack up my other warmers and make room for these. What else do we have in here? Oop. So the next one is Stargaze. My dad loved my first Stargaze warmer so much. He took it for me. But to be honest, I'm not even going to open this one. Um, maybe I'll show you in another video. I don't think I've made a Stargaze review video, but this is actually my second or third Stargaze warmer because it, people love them so much they don't want to wait for them. They're like, can I just buy yours? I'm like, no, it's used. Can I just please? I don't want to wait for it. I love it so much. So I've given in and, and given mine to my parents and whatever. So I had to replace it again but it's beautiful. Each and every one of them is different, totally unique. So I love opening them and lighting them up for the first time because they are so different, but the same, if that makes any sense. Stargaze warmers are beautiful. They're $66 in Canada, but I've never once heard a complaint. If anything, the customers that I've sold these to talk about them nonstop. I love my warmer, you know, definitely a top seller. And if you have a Stargaze um, warmer and you want in on that stargaze diffuser especially if you want it in time for Christmas I highly 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 advise people to get on my pre-order list just to be sure that you get it and you don't have to wait because there's a good chance that these ones will sell out folks so let's see what's next here uh, sorry I'm getting Strange notification. So, my favorite part is bars, people. My favorite part of Scentsy House is the bars. I love the warmers, too. Why is this rattling? Sounds like there's something breakable in here. So, I think since you got the memo that summer has returned to the Great White North, and I really shouldn't be complaining so much because... Oh, this smells good. Oh, I got some ice packs. 
I really shouldn't be complaining this much because I'm going to literally go back in January when I'm up to my neck in snow and watch these videos. And I'm going to be like, man, I wish the snow would go away. So, I'm not going to get into these scents because I'm pretty sure I've covered them all before. But, I have three mandarin grapefruit amber. This is new... Um, in bar form, but we have had this in our body line for some time. I just, in the part one of this video, this haul series, sorry, received the Mandarin Grapefruit Amber in the Body Souffle, and it's deadly. It's amazing. So, bar or body form, it's amazing. The next one, I bought three Black Raspberry Vanilla. Let me just make sure I should check these on my list. To make sure I got them all. Oh wow. Oh wow. I stand corrected. I got five blackberry black raspberry vanilla. It's a top seller, folks. The customers ask me for that all the time. So I got five of those. It's a Scentsy Classic. What else did I get? I just got one white tea and cactus. I love this scent. I really have to be in the mood for it, but I find right now because like I'm done with the summer bars, but also this heat is lingering around, so the fall and winter bars aren't really cut it for me right now either. White tea and cactus, like black raspberry vanilla, even the mandarin grapefruit amber. These are great in-between season scents, so in my opinion, you can just never have enough of those. When the heat eventually pisses off, I got two more pumpkin rolls. Uh, this used to be... Scentsy's best-selling pumpkin fragrance. It smells like cake and pumpkin, but uh, I think this one is going to seriously um, get outvoted by October's scent of the month, which is pumpkins, pumpkin cinnamon swirl. Um, and let me tell you, pumpkin cinnamon swirl to me smells like pumpkin roll and apple butter frosting. Had a baby? Yeah, so delicious. You have to get your hands on some of those. Order them, like order 20 of them because they're so amazing. I'm gonna, for like, I'm gonna predict it now. I'm telling you, maybe it will be October scent of the month this year, but I'm telling you, pumpkin cinnamon swirl, I'm predicting it right now, will be in the 2018 fall and winter catalog. I guarantee you. So what else do we have? Oh, oh, oh. I had heard so much about this uh, baked apple pie Scentsy bar. I've never ordered this. I've never warmed this. It's a Scentsy classic. Mmm, it does smell really good. The cinnamon is strong in this one. Like, I, I find the cinnamon to be the top note for sure, but it's it's nice. It's, it's a recommended, like, staple bar for fall, so I thought I'd, I'd just buy two, see how that goes. Ooh, 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 if you have not seen my scent score video for apple and cinnamon stick, watch that. I thought I got three of these. Yes, I did. So I bought three apple cinnamon sticks, and I swear, um... I have a couple of cubes left, and then these three will guarantee get me through till like spring and summer catalog. This is such a top performer, super strong. Um, I've also found that Clothesline is my go-to bar for the main floor laundry room, but Clothesline doesn't really mingle well with our fall warmer scents, in my opinion. So I was like, okay, what's going to cut it? Because our cat box is in our main floor laundry. And I hate the cat box. My daughter is so diligent. She cleans it sometimes two or three times a day because I am that against the smell of cat waste. 
I don't even like the smell of clean litter. So I like a top performing bar anywhere near that cat, like box. I hate it. I call it the shit box. It's terrible. And I need to be in there and do laundry. I ha There's four women living in this house. So I do a lot of laundry. I spend a lot of time in there. I need to cover up that smell. And ladies and gentlemen, apple cinnamon sticks is a top performer that blends well with your other warm fall and winter fragrances. And it covers up the smell of clean or dirty kitty litter. So I love it. And they last a long, long, long time. So super happy about that. Um, what else did I get? Ooh, speaking of, please tell me I got more than two. No, I only got two of these. Apple butter frosting. That's okay. Mm, apple butter frosting is so good. Again, apple butter frosting plus pumpkin roll. If you can't wait until you get your hands on October scent of the month, if you have these two laying around, melt them together, and I guarantee you it'll smell like October scent of the month. Um, next, next, next. Christmas Cottage Scentsy Bar. I got three of those. That's interesting. I think I smelled the testers and liked this one, so... I thought I'd get three. Yeah, that's a really nice one. It smells like Christmas, but mmm, like craft store Christmas. Christmas cottage. Three of those. I guess when I placed this order, I was really preparing for the future. I don't think I'll warm those until. Probably not even until like the first or second week of December. <laughs> but it's nice. It's really nice. Christmas cottage. Come on. What else did I get? Cashmere pear. I got two of these. Uh, one of my customers said she loves this scent. Ooh. I like this. It's kind of musky. Like. I definitely, definitely smell the pear note, but it's musky, not perfumey, and it's just a light, light, light musk. That's really nice. It's cashmere pear. How many did I get of that? Two. The customer's right. I'm definitely going to be placing more orders for that. Should have ordered three or four. That's nice. I think I'd like. I could probably warm cashmere pear. From now till March. Like, it's a really nice scent. Let's see what else. I got three pink A's. Cindy Jessup. I must have been really excited about uh, pink A's. Because I got it in the pod, like we had discussed. But then I bought three bars, too. So, I think we're on to something here. I hope I like it. I don't know what's in this because I don't have the scent notes in front of me, but it's really fluffy. I don't know. I have to read the scent notes on that again. Hmm. I'm going to see if this one smells different. No? What is that smell? I'm going to have to look into this. People were like so excited that Sensi brought this back. Pink haze. It smells like marshmallow and something. It's interesting, you know. I, I think my daughters are really gonna like that one too. Um, Amazon rain. I love this scent. I can't wait to get it in the next laundry love bundle. That's another thing. I'm gonna also keep track. Oh, Amazon rain. I'm going to keep track of how long that laundry liquid lasts because people have asked me that. Like, how many loads? And I don't know if Sensi's published it anywhere, but 20 fluid ounces, 591 mils. Uh, like, I could go through this probably quite quickly. In my household, anyways, because I do a load of laundry every day. 
but it says use pump to measure two pumps for small load, three pumps for medium load, and four pumps for large load. For best results used with other Sensi products. I'm going to keep track of how long this lasts me or roughly how many loads of laundry I do and I'll let you know because people are like $66 for laundry soap. Well, if it lasts you four or five months, like I think that's worth it. I spend a lot more than that on the crappy, you know, um, stuff that you buy at the grocery store, right? So we'll see. Holy, this has got to be a world record. I only got one clothesline bar. Mm, usually I get a couple. Or maybe I got more of this in the first haul. In the first portion of this haul. I don't know. But for some reason I only got one. I probably have about nine or ten in my sensi closet. So it's fine. Ooh. Another one from our new catalog, Quiet Girls. I'm not going to say anything because I just filmed a scent score video on Quiet Grove this morning. So you'll get my take on Quiet Grove shortly as soon as I upload these videos. Um, I bought another pineapple coconut vanilla bar. I love this scent. This is, mm, our, has been in our body line for some time, but they've just now introduced it in bar form. If you're not into Scentsy Body, you just want Scentsy for warmers and wax. I respect that. I was like that for a very long time. I was like, don't sell me none of your other stuff. I just want wax and warmers. So it's nice. If you don't want to experience Scentsy Body, you just want it in the bar form. Now Scentsy offers it. It's beautiful. I love this one. And in my opinion, in the body souffle, if I had to pick a favorite, I was actually just thinking this when I was driving home in my car. So the first body souffle I had was in the pineapple coconut vanilla fragrance. The second body souffle I have and have currently am using is the mandarin grapefruit amber. In my personal opinion, with my body chemistry, um, pineapple coconut vanilla is more fragrant in the body souffle so far. Like, I'm wearing the Mandarin Grapefruit Amber, and don't get me wrong, it smells beautiful. It smells very fresh. It it lasts throughout the day-ish, but in this heat, like, the pineapple coconut vanilla in the hottest part of the summer, I would put that on my body, and like seven hours later, people would ask me what perfume I was wearing. And I kind of get confused. Like, I didn't put perfume on. Oh, that's my body lotion. Like, the pineapple coconut vanilla, I don't know if it always lasts that long for everyone or if it's just something with my body chemistry. It's amazing. Not to say that I won't order the mandarin grapefruit amber or other scents in the body line, but I'll say for the record, pineapple coconut vanilla is my favorite so far. Oh, and I ordered two bars apparently, so that's good. Love that. And I always, I always, always, always have to have at least coconut lemongrass, one coconut lemongrass, and one clothesline in every haul video. Beautiful. So I got one of each of those. The next one I ordered, Skinny Dippin'. I know that this is absurd, but I don't like Skinny Dippin'. Everybody else does. I think I'm the only person who doesn't. Mm, but my teenage daughters love this scent. Actually, I shouldn't say that I don't like it at all. I don't mind this in the bathroom. But I think it's like papaya. There's papaya or something in here, like a fruit that I don't like personally, but my kids love it. So I'll be happy I got another one of those. So honey pear cider. I know I had ordered these in the first portion of my haul, but I ordered more. Um, it's terrible. It's like been a week and a half since the first video. And I haven't worn the scent yet, but it's beautiful. Like you can, I don't really smell cider. But maybe. I definitely, definitely smell honey and pear. Don't let, don't let the title of cider turn you off of this. If you like honey and you like pear scents, you can smell each 
separately in here. So don't let the, the word cider turn you off because I do smell it a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Like hardly even there is the cider part of it. Um, Lisa Roberry talked about this one recently, Cider Mill. And to be honest, it didn't really stand out to me in the tester. She talked about um, it in one of her videos. And so I thought, hey, why not order two and give it a try? Wow, that smells, mm, that smells amazing. I think I would definitely warm this probably from October right on straight through till probably the new year. Cider Mill is beautiful. I do like it. And I think it's going to be like on cold snip. I like it. I think it's going to get even better once you warm it. So I have, that's it. That's me. So once again, thank you for joining me <laughs> now. I wish somebody would come and clean up this big mess and put it all away. This is part two of my September haul video. Just want a quick reminder, there's only three days left to join my team for half price. So that's $64 in Canada or $49 in the U.S. Honestly, I am a customer and a Sensi fan just like you. And I took a leap, took a chance wanted to get all my stuff at a crazy great price so if you're wondering how does she afford to do these haul videos every month it's because I'm a consultant I'm not paying full price so that's how I accumulate such a huge sensi hoard is because now that I'm a consultant I can I wouldn't be able to afford to purchase this amount in bulk every month um, if it wasn't for being a sensi consultant so if for that reason alone, if you want, you don't want to sell it, you don't want to make YouTube videos, you don't want a business page, you don't want none of that, that's fine. I understand that. But if you want a great deal on amazing Scentsy products that you love, you got to message me. You and I need to talk. Because trust me, I wasn't into the whole MLM, you know, marketing and direct selling. And I wasn't into that either when I first started. But trust me, Scentsy is an amazing company to work for. And I'm hooked. I am absolutely hooked. I'll admit, I don't think I've quite drank in the Kool-Aid and like totally gone crazy Scentsy yet. Could still happen. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And I think for $64 Canadian or $49 American, what do you have to lose? Like, come on. That's peanuts. So shoot me a message. If not, uh, what else do we have this month? 10% off. Don't forget, Jack is 10% off. If you want that adorable little pumpkin warmer and mandarin toffee treat. Also, my pre-orders are going in for the Stargaze diffusers. If you want to get on that 2 a.m. order in the middle of the night this weekend, I'm doing it. So you shoot me a message, let me know. I'll get you in on that pre-order to make sure that you have a Stargaze diffuser. Um, for yourself, if not for a gift underneath the tree this year, for sure, for sure, guaranteed. And that's about it. So once again, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for bearing with me in this sweltering, disgusting, disgusting heat. Um, yeah, I'm super happy. We got a baby pool set up in the backyard. I'm going to go sit in it with the baby. But thank you once again, and I look forward to bringing you more videos. Follow me on Facebook. All of my links are down below. Bye.